here's what I want to do. I want to have a an honest conversation about uh, really what this is like right now for home buyers and home sellers, renters, people, no matter who it is that's in this housing market right now, because I think there's a lot of misinformation and I think we need to give the truth. Well, that's what we do here on Texas Real Estate. Um, and and I'm not even joking. Th- that is what we do. We cut through the baloney and we tell you what's really going on. And what's going on right now is this market is difficult. This market is messy. This market is really, really fast paced. It's as extreme as it's ever been. It's more extreme than it's ever been here in Dallas, Fort Worth. I, I jokingly posted on social media last week, you know, when you go to a, one of those really good barbecue joints and they run out of brisket or sausage and they just shut down for the day, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, sorry, we're out. Yep. We're closed. That's about where we are in today's real estate market. We're just about out of houses and this whole thing is feeling like it's just locking up. Yeah. <clears throat> and that was meant to be somewhat funny because all you can do at this point is sort of laugh because it's so brutal. Now, it's like one of those nervous laughter though, right? Yeah, literally like, <laughs> yeah, we're out, we're out of houses. Yeah. I need to sell them to keep my business open and people need to buy them and sell them to keep their families operating and lives running, but it's really, really out of balance. And it just is. Those are the facts, right? So it doesn't serve our friends, our listeners, our neighbors at all for us to act like it's not or paint it as a more optimistic picture. Now, there's a lot of reasons to be optimistic, and we're going to get to those in a little bit. We'll we'll give you some very specific advice if you're a buyer. We'll give you some very specific advice if you're a seller. And I really today want to speak to the folks that are stuck on the fence in the middle. So we are going to get to that. There will be specific advice and updates on the market, but we just want to take a second to acknowledge where we are. We are in the most extreme, rapid-paced market the DFW has ever seen. I mean, we talked with our team this past week and said, hey, last year was really difficult. This year is going to be harder. Right. But we have to have that mindset of knowing that ahead of time so that you can actually make plans to help people as much as we can, right? Yeah. You can't help people if you're just living in a delusion, right? So, you know, telling a buyer this is going to be easy, uh, telling a seller just to wing it, that's, that's bad advice. Um, and, and the reality right now is there are a lot of buyers that are totally discouraged. Yeah. And there are a lot of sellers that are totally delusional. I mean, really uh, buyers have just been beaten down for years and years and sellers have gotten to where they think they don't have to do anything to prepare. They don't have to be responsive or respectful. And they, you know, there seems to be no ethics where it's like, I'll just, I'll, I'll at least be a decent person. Right. Well, and and agents, in a lot of cases, are they're undercutting each other. Yep. They're just they they're they're so desperate to get a deal that they are willing to, I mean, almost work for free. It feels like. Well, and look, that sounds good to a consumer, right? I got you know I got professional help. I didn't have to pay much, but it's not. It is not good. What you end up getting is someone who's barely paying any attention to you or who doesn't know what they're doing. And this is too big and too important of a transaction of, of a of a transition in life to to have somebody winging it, to have somebody who is not giving you their full energy and focus, who doesn't have the resources and and community and and and, and professional connections around them to knock it out of the park for you. So that's what's going on. The market right now is tough. If you don't think it's tough, you know, people say all the time, oh, but you must be loving this market. Look, like, no, we are not loving this market. Now, I'm not going to wish for any other market either. But if you're if you're listening right now and you're a buyer, a seller or a homeowner, let me let me give you some very specific quick advice and then we can unpack it as we make our way forward. If you are a buyer and you are financially ready to buy, meaning you can afford a home and you want a home and you're ready, life, family, kiddos, job, whatever, to make the move. You need to buy a house as fast as possible. Now, I don't want you to be in a panicked rush. So, you know, you can reach out to the team. Go to TodTremontyTeam.com. We'll sit down with you. We'll have a slow, careful, thoughtful strategy session. But once you're prepared, then you need to get after it. And the reason for that is this. Every day you wait, that home price is going up and it's going up fast. Every day you wait right now, mortgage rates are up. 
every day you wait right now, the the front door you might want to replace, the price is going up. <clears throat> the wood floors you might want to install, the price are going up. The windows you might want to replace, the price is going up. Um, the labor to do all those things, the price is going up. That's just the facts of the market we're in. They're not they're not fun if you're a buyer, but that's what's happening. So so here's what we hear. We hear two um, seemingly opposite things from people. Number one, we hear, I'm ready to buy. Let's go right now. I want to buy something real right away. And that's the right mindset as long as they're willing to slow down before they speed up. Yep. Slow down, have the talk, get the strategy, get pre-approved, figure out your, your safe budget, not your max budget, but your comfortable budget. Figure out your non-negotiable criteria, not just your wildest dreams, but slow down, get prepared, and then go fast. And also be willing to listen to an expert explain what this timeline might look like in this market. Right. Because depending on where you're looking, what you're looking for, what your price point is, what your must-haves and nots and all of that stuff looks like, yeah. it's all going to be different. And we are preaching patience. Yeah. Be willing to lose a house. Be willing to say, I could win, but I'm not willing to win. Uh, but on another point, be willing to pay what feels like overvalue because between now and when you close, it's probably going to catch up. As that, a reminder, house prices last year, on average, went up 20%. Yeah, 22 and a half was the newspaper number. I think 20 is a safer number, but you can find it published anywhere. But regard, I mean, call it 10. That's still insane. But it was 20 plus. Um, Quick it, math would say that is 0.05% per day. Per day. Now, here's the deal. Golly, that's insane. Here's the thing. There's a lot of predictions that this year will not be as rapid of a growth, but what I can tell you right now is the first part of this year might be even more. Yeah. It, it, at the moment, it's more. So far, January and early February, it's more. Now, that might begin to slow if we see interest rates rise a lot more. I don't want to get way down in the weeds of that, but we were talking to buyers, and the point with buyers is slow down and then speed up. You do have to be fast in this market because every day you wait, you are losing money. You are losing opportunity. Now, to sellers. Sellers, clearly, this is the greatest market in the history of Dallas-Fort Worth to sell a home. But we are seeing so many sellers literally just give money away. They're lazy. They're not getting prepared up front. They're trying to sell it themselves to a neighbor. They're using some you know, goofball, uh, lazy agent. Or they're hiring just their buddy, their neighbor, their, the agent they used before, and they're going with the same old, same old approach. And look, you're not going to fail to sell your home in that situation, most likely, but you are going to deal with a little bit more drama and you're likely to be leaving a lot of money on the table. Right now, from the Tatramani Home Selling Team, our average seller is selling their home for 11.3% more than their neighbors, than similar homes on the same street, same time of year, same school, same everything except the exact house and the agent that's selling it. 11.3% is a lot. The average value in our market's gone way up. So you're talking forty dollars to $50,000 for the average person in our market. That's real money. That's a really nice vehicle or two. That's a, a, a whole college education in some places. It's a year of a college education at the most expensive places. That's a lot of money. People need to be willing to slow down before they speed up on both sides. Go to ToddTremonteTeam.com. One of our world-class, full-time, dedicated expert agents will be glad to have a chat with you on Zoom or here in the office and show you our unique seven-step proprietary system that guarantees to get your home sold over the average price and under the average time. And we are still guaranteeing that we'll save buyers at least $5,000 throughout the process of buying a home. Go to ToddTremonteTeam.com or save this phone number in your cell phone. I'm going to say it a couple of times. Save this in your phone. 214-310-0008. You can call or text 214-310-0008. Or as our buddy Sean Hannity says, 214-310-0008.